Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Archer because I was fiddling around with rockets lately and I have another build for you guys. So let's take a look at it. Now what are we doing here? We have um, rocket launcher 20s, we have four of them. And we have an MRM-40 and four medium lasers. And this Alpha Strike is 220. Let me quickly talk about the concept of rocket launchers, okay? Some of you guys I know don't like it. They do not like rocket launchers because as soon as you fire them, you cannot fire them again. They are one-shot weapons and you invest, especially in the rocket launcher 20, you invest one and a half tons. That is six tons, not used in the late game. However, if you use them super early, you can get such a huge advantage. As I was saying, 220 Alpha Strike. Granted, it's splash damage, but 220 Alpha Strike thrown at an Assault Mech early on takes that Assault Mech out of the game. And that makes it so that your team can follow up on that, get the kill, or if you don't get the kill yourself, and you just spiral down from there. You get a huge advantage in the early game. And since MWO is a snowball game, you mean, I mean, the more you have uh, established an advantage, the more you will win. That's a snowball effect, right? Um, the better it is. So rocket launchers are super good if you go in early, if you just commit to a kill, if you commit to opening up an assault mech, even if you don't get the kill, that guy will play so damn defensively to keep his mech alive and um, again, you just basically take out one mech out of the equation and you're fighting 12 versus 11. And uh, therefore, rocket launchers, in my opinion, they have a reason, they have a, a niche on the battlefield. And that's what we do today. After the rockets, we drop down to an MRM-40 and four medium lasers, which is an okay build. This is nothing crazy, but it's also not bad and with four double heat sinks we can keep up the damage for a long time and um, you know, just, just keep going so after the rockets are down you keep just chilling and play the mrm medium laser game now um skills let's take a look at that what are we doing in terms of skills uh, we have invested into firepower of course the rockets are considered Miss as missiles. Therefore, we get the high explosive on the rockets as well. We get the missile spread on the rockets as well. We get the missile rack? No, absolutely not. <laughs> that would be cool if we could get another barrage of, of rockets out of the missile rack, but it's not possible. You cannot upgrade the ammo, but the MRM is benefiting from it. Uh, we are not using the laser duration here. I think four mediums, it's debatable that you could take them, but I don't think so. Uh, what we want though is maximum survivability. Since the Archer got buffed in a patch like a few months ago, uh, it has a lot of armor now and therefore is extremely sturdy. Look at these armor values. For a 70 ton mech, that's a lot. That's a huge amount of armor and that makes it so that uh, you can actually go in. You can overextend, shoot your rockets and then pull back using your armor as your asset as well. And that's what I like about the Archer. That's what I like about the build. You will see that in the games. After that, there's not much more. We have half cool run here. So we have three nodes unlocked, which is great to keep up the DPS for the missiles and the lasers later on. And we are running radar deprivation on top of a double cool shot. And usually I would say double artillery, but I think I didn't use it in actually any of the games that I recorded. So you will see it without the artillery here. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitch, by the way, if you want live streams. Um, link is down below in the description. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We are playing with Haven Kendrick, who, by the way, um, built the sound mod that we are using. So, yeah, kudos to him. And we tried to regroup with him because he's running an Atlas. Let's go. We need big targets around us so that we can securely go in and unleash the missile and rocket barrage. I'm looking forward to it. So very important thing, uh, at least for me, open the weapon doors because okay, that will make it so that the missiles and rockets will come out, uh, you know, instantly and you don't have to wait. So let's have a look at Mr. Haven Kendrick. He's up there. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, he was calling something about uh, Echo 5 and I will go with him. So let's regroup with him and uh, see what we can do here. Uh, is he going to the basement? Oh, 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 oh. All right, okay, so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can't wait to unload all of my missiles and rockets into one target. And then, you know, we're right, gonna spiral down from there on when, the when he's dead. All right, we take the top. If that's what we do, then that's what we do. 
I say affirmative. You ready, man? You ready? Oh, there's one guy. Actually, um, no, nah, it's it's not a good target. I mean, it's a good target, but it's not in a in a good position. So what we do here is, wow, they pushing now. Okay, let's go, let's go. Ah, damn it, I fell, I fell. Okay, so what we do here is we push on the side. We get this missile boat. Let's go. If they have enough distraction on top there, we're gonna go from here. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Rockets, 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 rockets. <laughs> Great. I love it. And the cool shot. And now I'm dead. Because I'm the only one here on the side. Oh my god. That was glorious. I like that a lot. Uh, can we please kill that Ebonjack that is in my face? Please. Hello? Team? Get that off my lawn. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We have to shut down here. Oh no, we don't. But it's alright. <laughs> that was fun. That Kodiak got blown apart. I have no idea how much damage he took there from my end, but oh my god, it felt glorious. Okay, Timber Wolf is next. Ah, oh, that guy was very mean to me as well. Mm, I like that Warhorn. So we got that. And now, now what? We're gonna go for the Echo 4 area. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy that the Archer has so much armor. I think otherwise we couldn't do it. But hey, we're gonna use all of the assets that are at our hand and armor is one of them. So let's keep going. <laughs> Five in one, it's looking solid already. Oh man, you gotta love rockets. Uh, unless you hate him. Um, I mean, this is perfect. Pretty much perfect, I say. We take the side torso off. Come on. Okay, that's down. Uh, Haven is still pushing with his atlas like a madman. Alrighty, so we go for the Vindy then. Hi, Vindy. Vindy's have a lot of armor. Um, yeah, we, we gotta, we're gonna get him. Let's drop on him. Never mind. Good shot, man. 37% and still going. I like his attitude. Okay, he's down. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> I'm having fun. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where would we go? There's one enemy on the battlefield, which is obviously an SRM Griffin. Hello, Mr. Griffin. Okay, we got a bit of that. Uh, he should run an XL engine, actually. Okay. And down he goes. Another kill on Haven's counter. Cool. That was a nice game. Again, I need to rewatch that. I want to see how the Kodiak went down the <laughs> rockets. Bam, 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 bam. This is the thing. You cannot possibly shoot, like, or you cannot possibly load enough weapon systems to get that quick rate of fire with so much damage in. Of course, it's all spread, but you know what? You open up an enemy, you just make them susceptible to getting killed by your teammates, and that's exactly what happened. Now, two killing blows, eight assists, uh, 537 damage with seven components destroyed. That was the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We are playing Domination. We go to Delta 5. We try to get the high ground. We try to find an Assault Mech and kill it. That's the plan here. So, um, yeah, I said it before and I will repeat it again, guys. Um, this build is just so good at getting an early advantage. So the earlier you find your target, your desired target, and you can unload your rockets, it, the better it is. So even if you don't kill it, you hopefully have some friends around who can just seal the deal and destroy your target. Or you just cripple it so much in terms of armor shredding and maybe some crits that the guy is not doing anything anymore. Fafnir, great target. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, okay, we have the NASCAR going on, but the cool thing is... Uh, actually, I don't need to. No, I don't need to. Never mind. My team is going for it already. So, uh, the thing is... I. It would just accelerate the kill. Is it needed, though? Is it needed? I don't think so. No, the Stephanie is completely separated. If we keep up the pressure here, we will be able to destroy it. It's uh, just below me. Okay, we go for this. You know what? We keep it slow here. Hello? Team can do it. Team can kill the Fafni. So I just switched to it so that you can see it. Um, Coming back to the top. Coming back to the top. Oh, wait, actually. Rock, 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 rock. 
Oh, yeah, this Mauler is pretty damaged, I would say. I would say we're gonna go and kill it. The Mauler is uh, almost open, guys. Almost. So, heavy Gauss Mauler. New target acquired. Good twist, I gotta say. Let's try to do the same. Uh huh, went to the arm. New target acquired. Okay, Mauler is open. Kill it. Where is it? It's golf. Golf, golf, golf. Here in uh, Echo 5. Oh, he went back to second line. Okay, so we keep up the regular game. Oh, ATMs. Oh, no, actually streaks. Am I? No, I'm not afraid of streak. Absolutely not. Uh, hey, dude. You should be. Wow. Good shot, I gotta say. Good shot. Um, I hope that the Mauler is dead. I mean, he dropped somewhere. But I have a feeling that he is actually not. Well, let's see what we can do here. Okay, this is the streak guy. I uh, was tempted to drop my artillery strike, but you know what? I think in this case here, in this scenario, I, I won't do it. So a lot of people say, hey, Baradul, don't use artillery strike so much because it pads your damage and I want to see what you are doing here. So I'm gonna refrain from it at the moment, okay? So it is a bit, you know, it's counterintuitive using or not using an asset that you have at hand. Uh huh. But in general, uh, as a, you know, a dude that reviews bills on YouTube. Sometimes it's, it's good not to, to do that because you want to see it, um, you know, otherwise. Um, what I have to say though, um, and this is very important to me guys, uh, I'm not objective. I show you the stuff that I like. I show you the stuff that I personally enjoy playing. I'm not... I try to, you know, give you the, the ups and downs, the benefits and the, uh, the idea of the build that I'm playing. However, don't expect me to uh, give you... Uh, Oh, something like, like this is the best build in the world take this and you will perform well in 80 percent of the games and you will never lose a game anymore something like that that's not what i do i say hey guys let's throw this out to the battlefield and see what it does <laughs> so i hope it's okay for you guys i really hope it's a trap again okay i should really talk on armlock in such a situation hello okay he's down nice there was a guy in the center uh, he will be pushed back, so I try to get over here. Will he push back? No, Target he's dead. Destroyed. He's just 100% dead. Deader than dead. He is uh, me mega dead. Acquired. Like, symphony of structure. You can all already start playing it. It's it's dead. Just dead. Alright. Um, One guy up top. The other guy. No idea. I saw an okay, Archie Wolf with ECM forward. earlier. Uh, I wonder if that's this guy. Huh. Okay, since his vector was mostly to the left, to the Delta 4 area, I try to intercept him here. Let's see if we can find him, uh, if we can anticipate his movement, and then as a result go in and get the kill. That would be great. And as you can see, guys... Oh, uh, shooting. Yeah, that's him. That's the Arctic Wolf I was talking about. Um, as you can see... Oh, oh. Okay. Um, even after the rockets are gone, we still have an MRM, we still have four medium lasers, we have good DPS, and um, we fall back to that and it's perfect it's all right you don't need more than that i mean everything more than that would be nice to have but you technically don't need more than that uh do we have a, oh we have a disconnect ah that's unfortunate guys unfortunate i'd rather have fair fights like fights with 12 versus 12 than uh, showing you something like that but i think you can see how the game how the mech and the build plays right so you go in you unload your rockets and then the enemy is half dead and then you just follow up especially when you have teammates around and you get the kill so early advantage being created by the build and um, since mech warrior online is a snowball game you just um you have a huge advantage it's not too much about dps it's not too much about your individual end score this is for helping out the team and again punishing the enemy team question is though how would the other guy feel like how would the guy feel on the on the other end like just Coming up there, saying, hey, I got fresh armor, a fresh mech just right out of the factory. I have uh, perfect condition. And then you are coming and say, mm -mm, no. You just say, hey, half of your mech is down. And this guy just, just entered the battlefield. Is that fair? I don't know. But we're not talking about fairness here. This is a war game. <laughs> All right. So, zero killing blows. We got seven assists, two kill most damage dealt, 665 damage with one component destroyed. That's your daily dose, everybody. That was the Archer with the Rocket MRM build, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.